Your beauty beat today. So we know the dewy skin trend, the glass skin trend, but what about the dolphin skin trend? Apparently it's been around for a while, but it's recently been trending on accounts like Pop Sugar and all throughout social media. So here to break down that latest trend is our beauty expert, Christina Gallardo. Hey, Christina. Hello. So people want to know what dolphin skin is, and by people, I mean myself. How do we get this dolphin skin that we see popping out? Well, you're definitely right in the fact that dolphin skin's been around for a while, at least all summer. Um, and I think now it's just like the name that's really bringing it more attention now that it's been identified as dolphin skin. Yeah, it's a very intriguing name there. So why dolphin, though, out of all the animals we could pick? So dolphins are known for their plump, smooth, reflective skin, which inspired the name for this very like luminous, fresh, mm -hmm. out-of-the-water look, which Jennifer Lopez has been showing us gorgeous examples of all summer long, especially since she launched her skincare line. Her makeup artist, Mary Phillips, is known for perfecting and coining the dolphin skin look. Yeah, so for looking at dolphin's skin here, J-Lo would be flipper of the bunch. She is what we all are aspiring to be. Okay. Always looks fresh out of the water. Now, how do we get this look though at home? Because we don't have our makeup artists. So with most of these skin trends that we talk about, skincare is always the most important step in achieving any look. Um, making sure that you're using plumping products like serums with hyaluronic acid, exfoliating products like retinol to keep your skin nice and smooth. And my favorite, a really nice hydrating face oil that absorbs nicely but leaves your skin extra hydrated and radiant. Okay, so that's covering the skin prep, but there is a little bit of makeup involved here. It isn't just walking out of the shower, coming out there wet. Their makeup is needed to kind of complete that look. For sure. So you want to focus on liquids and creams. You want to stay from, away from anything like drying or mattifying. You want to start with a radiant finish primer. Focus on foundations that describe themselves as luminous. Um, hydrating concealers cream blushes and contour sticks, which are huge right now, as well as liquid highlighters. And then you just wanna stay away from those powders and matte finishes. Only use a translucent setting powder in the areas where you're prone to really high shine. So for example, dusting a light wash on places like the center of your forehead, and maybe a little under your eyes if you're worried about your concealer creasing. Now we just gotta give a PSA real quick about highlighters. Cause if you go overboard, you look like a disco ball. So true. How much is it's, too much and how much is enough? It's always in terms of like, if you're using a liquid or a cream, you want to just like dab a little bit on like your ring fingers and just tap around. And then like, if you're using a powder, you want to focus on the density of the brush. So you mm -hmm. want to use something really light and fluffy so you don't over apply. Yeah, listen, that's a PSA for everybody out there. I have left the house and looked in the sun and went, oh no, honey. <laughs> so the dolphin look also includes though our lids and our lips. What do we need to add there? That's true. And another thing, it does bring out your wrinkles if you do use too much highlighter. So you want to like tone it down if Absolutely you have some texture. <laughs> For the lids, a light shimmer and a cream or a liquid shadow will give you a really beautiful wash for your eyes. And for your lips, focus on a gloss or a sheer creamy lipstick as opposed to anything full coverage in that. All right. And just like that, voila, we have dolphin skin face. Do you have a good, uh, yeah. I have to ask you this because we're talking about them. Do you know the sound that a dolphin makes, Christina? <laughs> I do, but I don't that was myself. Pretty, that was pretty close. <laughs> All right. A reminder, you guys. Thanks, Christina, again. Tune in every Tuesday for our beauty beat. Make sure you're following Christina on Instagram as well, at Makeup by Christina G underscore. Weather